Hey everybody, welcome back. Would you guys like free approach plates? Because the FAA publishes approach plates, not only approach plates, but also standard terminal arrival routes, instrument departures, and airport diagrams for every approach, every procedure, every airport that's in the United States. This is all available for free on the FAA website. I know not everybody wants to subscribe to Navigraph to get the charts. Uh, Navigraph sells the JEP charts. JEP charts are arguably better charts than the FAA charts, uh, but the FAA charts are perfectly legal and they are all available for free. Now, if you come here, and I'll put all the links in the description, um, this is a list of all the different charts that are available in the United States. There's a map here that you can click on to see which volume of charts covers which region you're flying to. Uh, if you want to, you can download the entire region. Uh, for example, for me, I live in New York and I have the New York charts right here. This is my home airport, Griffiths Airfield in Rome, New York. And this is an FAA instrument approach plate. And if you look at the JEP chart, it's from Navigraph, it's exactly the same. Uh, Bolts, the initial approach fix, Marcy, Jerda, Bolts, Marcy, Jerda. You can see the profile view, Marcy glide slope intercept, the Maltese cross there at 2,500 feet. Over here, Maltese cross at 2,500 feet at Marcy, same thing. Minimums are all here. Minimums are all here. It's exactly the same information. It's just presented in a different way in the FAA charts. Again, the FAA charts are perfectly legal. They're used by thousands, tens of thousands of pilots in the United States. Uh, and they're all free. Now, most pilots who use them in the United States buy them from a company that will bind and, uh, and send them to you, the, the hard copies. Um, and then you've got, you know, all the airports in your, in the region that you've ordered. If you don't want to do that, you can come uh, right here and uh, you simply put in, there's actually two ways of doing it. So here's the effective date of the charts and these are the current charts. And you put in any chart that you want to have or any airport that you want to fly to, let's say Miami International, KMIA, and you click go and it's going to show you all of the charts available for Miami. Now, of course, for Miami, that's a lot of charts, right? Uh, see the RNAV GPS Zulu Runway 12, click on that, and you've got the chart. You can either just, you know, have it open in a window as you're using it on your computer, on your iPad, print it out if you want to do that. Um, you go to a, a smaller airport, let's say Syracuse, KSYR, and you will see you've got all the charts for Syracuse. And again, you can do that for any airport in the entire United States. This is the Syracuse 2 uh, departure, which is a pretty, pretty simple departure. Here's the airport diagram. And this gives you, so if you're flying on VATSIM and you want an airport diagram so you know where all the taxiways are and what the taxiways are named, you can get them all here. So all of your charts, all of your departures, all of your approaches, all of your standard terminal arrival routes, all you have to do, get the airport identifier, put it in here, click go, and you've got your charts. And it's all free, and it's all available right from the FAA. Now, um, one of the things that's cool about downloading one of the volumes here. See, I've got the NE2, Northeast 2 volume, downloaded. Now, one of the cool things about it is that there is a ton of information in the legend of this chart book, okay? Um, and as we go through, you'll see, first of all, here's all the abbreviations. Uh, anybody who's interested in learning more what the abbreviations are that you come across in aviation, they're all here. Um, now we get into uh, the symbols on the charts. 
uh, holding patterns, um, minimum safe altitudes, terminal arrival areas. This is all interesting stuff. It's all useful stuff. Here are the profile views, the explanations of what all the information on the profile views mean. So if you guys want to become better instrument sim pilots, all the information, the stuff that you want to learn uh, that you search for on YouTube to, you know, to find videos of people explaining this stuff, all this stuff is right here. It's all free. It's all available directly to you from the FAA. Um, and it's beyond just things like, uh, you know, the approach plates and the approach symbology. Um, it's got all the lighting systems and the abbreviations for the lighting systems. It's got, you know, the approach lighting, the, the approach, the precision approach path indicator, the, which is the four uh, lights to the, generally to the left of the runway, which give you, uh, you know, your high low indication. And you can see here the different uh, glide paths, the VASI, which is the two light system. All this different information is all here. And it's really interesting stuff. Very, very useful if you want to learn more about aviation. Um, there's another thing called the chart supplement. And it used to be called the Airport Facility Directory. And this has got information on all the airports and the navigational facilities in different regions. Um, this is the Northeast volume here that I have open. Again, this is Griffiths International Airport where I fly in and out of. Uh, has a lot of information about the runways, about the distances of the runways. Um, remarks about when the towers are open, which isn't necessarily relevant for us, but it'll also tell you things like if there is a non-standard non -standard traffic pattern, um, restrictions of, you know, this this down here, this is the, the radio aids to navigation. So all your navigation, you know, your VORs, all that sort of thing. And it'll tell you localizer unusable beyond six nautical miles from the threshold above 4,200 feet, stuff like that. Little details about uh about the airports lots of information lots of interesting information um and if you go into the uh into the front of this uh publication you're also going to get all this stuff the uh the different symbology used in here um and then the other thing that's available from the FAA is called the F the Aeronautical Chart User's Guide. Now, this has got all the different information of all the different charts that are available from the FAA. These are VFR charts, terminal area charts, um, helicopter routes, things like that. And if you come here, these are the IL these are the IFR charts, the in route low and high altitude charts, and this is the Terminal Procedures publication, what we were talking about before. So if you're interested in learning about, you know, stuff like the missed approach, you can come here and it talks all about the missed approach, what you can expect to see in the charts, what all the information in the charts means, how to interpret that information, gives you an in-depth uh, overview of the profile view, what everything here means. So there's a ton of information that's available from the FAA and it's all free and it's all uh, legal official FAA information. So, uh, and the other thing, if you want to, you can come here and let's say you want to fly, you're flying to somewhere in Iowa. Um, these are all the approaches and all the different things in the state. Um, I don't know why you might want to do that, but you could. Um, so all the different states are clickable. You can get all the different charts available for the different states. Um, and again, you can just put in your airport identifier, click go. This is Chicago International O'Hare. It's going to give you all of the charts available. So these are the, the standard ter terminal arrival routes for O'Hare. And you click on it. Well, that's not a good example. Let's see here. And here's the Janesville one arrival into O'Hare. You can print that, you can put it on your iPad, whatever you want to do. All available, free from the FAA. So I'll put all the links in the description. And if you guys want some free approach plates, some free arrival and departure plates, you can get it all right here. And uh, let me know in the uh, 
in the comments what you guys think, and I hope you guys are doing well. Bye-bye.